Good morning. It's another day. We are here again to hear this undiluted, this undiluted word from the throne of grace. Listen and stay blessed. This morning, we want to look at a topic: the available mind of God. The Bible said in James 1:5, it said, "If any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God." Who give generously to all without finding fault. God is available to bless every soul. God is ever ready to bless his children. There is a deep wisdom inaccessible to the wise and prudent, but disclosed to the babe. Why would God set up a process for us to gain wisdom? Why would he not just give it to us? Because Asking for his wisdom and receiving it brings us into relationship with him. The wisdom we receive is not information imparted, but character learned. We observe who he is and we learn to behave like him. We, we come to know him better in the process. His wisdom is readily available, but we must ask. Have you found yourself needing the guidance in a given situation? Our usual tendency is to pray for direction, but God has a better way. Pray for wisdom, and the direction will become clear. If we are to pray for direction, God could only answer by giving us information. But if we pray for wisdom, God answer by giving us his own mind. We are prone to call upon God for wisdom only when we find ourselves in a difficult situation. But far from being a one-time request in the moment of need, this verse hit as ongoing process. It isn't that we ask for wisdom one day when we are at our wit end. We are to ask for wisdom daily because we will find ourselves at wit end sooner or later. God's provision for his mind is often given in guidance, or rather in advance, rather. It is more than instruction for a way to go. It is a training for a way of life. Do you need direction? guidance, wisdom from abroad, the crucial step often neglected is to ask. How often we try to figure things out on our own. How often we ask others for advice before we ask God. Ask him now. Ask him often. Make the asking a regular part of your life. Don't wait until trouble comes. Let the mind of God now. He offer generously. The available mind of God. God is willing and ready to cater for his children. Don't allow your situation to pull you down because before you start asking and say, God, what next? You don't ask God what next when you're already in it. You quest for it before the situation arrives, before that particular condition arrives. Is anyone lacking wisdom? Let him seek for God. Tribulations and trials will always be around us. Then we should learn to also seek his continuous order, his continuous wisdom, knowledge, and we see things working in our good. Let us seek him regularly, let us seek him continuously. And by the grace of the Almighty God, everything will fall in place. The Lord bless His word in our heart in the name of Jesus. God will take away every sorrow of your path in the name of Jesus. The Lord will lift you up and higher in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.